Well guys, I got the second hardest thing done, which was getting this one in and getting it leveled with that one. This one had to be exactly eight foot from here. So, when I put it in, I was actually going to have to raise it up and make it level with this one, so I ended up dropping this one down a little bit and just using a single block because it's close together. And of course this one can be, you know, I can I can do something with it. This end here can be slid back a little bit. But this one had to be exactly square with this one or as close to square as possible, which I got eight foot right in the center. So that is the hardest one. Now every other one's going to come even uh, level with this one, two feet from the center. All right, guys, here's y'all another update. Now I've got two more in here. I got two more to go. As you can see, it's easing its way up this block, and by the time it gets down here, it's going to be over the block. But I put a, a eight foot two by four across here where I go, and it's going to be about three inches high on this end. So, what I'm trying to do is instead of being dead level, I'm giving it about a half a bubble drop as it's coming down. Uh, of course, try to be as level as I can this way. All right, guys, so it's been about an hour now. Got these other ones in. Still gonna have a good bit of a step up. I don't know if you can tell. That's probably gonna be about three inches by the time I get the top put on it. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It didn't really come over the blocks because I moved this end down a little bit and uh, I'm going to put a 2 by across there and across some blocks to close that gap in and uh, yeah so now all I got to do is cut my stringers but before I do a whole lot of cutting I'm going to spray this ground good with termite killer just to make sure any termites that's around this ground die and then when I clean this area up I'm gonna do the same thing in here so uh, yeah a lot more to clean up in here all right guys well stay tuned for more okay guys it is Monday I hurt so bad yesterday I couldn't hardly do nothing but I did get out here and spray some uh, termite killer on the on everything but uh yeah all this squatting and placing and all toting and all that really got my back hurting so today i'm a little sore but we got to get this thing done so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut some two fours to go in between these things and if my measurement's right that should be 24 on the center and it is so now i just need to get some Planks cut looks like uh, 18 and a half. I'll do it. So I need three of them. And then once I get these cut, I measure for, for these two. And then basically that section, this section, and this section all be the same. So, so I need three, 18 and a half. And I've got my little saw set up. I've got my iron nailer. And my air compressor right here so I'm gonna get these cut and uh, get them in all right guys got all these in that was a little bit of pain I can't believe I'm out here sweating it's 50 degrees outside I'll be I'm gonna be sick again but I'm gonna have to have some help to uh, I think to lay this plywood out I'm gonna try a sheet just to see but yeah, I just used my iron nailer and put a few nails in each one. It ain't the best, but it'll do. So let's see if I can get a sheet of plywood on this thing.
eight square, that's for sure. Too bad. We'll throw some nails in her. Maybe she'll be good to go. That's what she's going to look like. Uh, I'll show you where it ain't. This wall here ain't square. You can see this crack I got right here. And uh, what's going to happen is that every one of these is going to have a crack. But hopefully, when I get down here, I'm hoping this bottom plank ain't going to get in my way. Hopefully, I can slide under it. But. Uh, yeah, you can tell the cement wasn't quite straight either. Got a big bow in it right there. So we ended up with, I don't know, probably three inches step up. I believe she'd be all right. I'll get this water intrusion problem fixed. I'll be good to go. All right, guys, I got her here and finished her up. Like I said, I probably could have took my time and cut out this a little bit on this board, on this plywood, and got rid of this crack, but that crack ain't but just a little bit. Had to do a little saw in here, around this post right here, but that piece fit right in there. It was just a half an inch difference. It's a half inch out of square on the back. So, looks pretty good. So now we are about ready to start putting stuff in here and getting it out of my way. And I'll probably start on that in a few days and get this trailer out of here. Start moving that junk back there in here. Alright guys, well stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.